Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Trickett. And yes, as you already know, this is another amazing edition of Wake Up With Trickett because we're all waking up, right? <laughs> but you do have free will. Use it how you want to. If you want to stay stuck, stagnant, by all means. But if you want to learn something and put it to practice and grow and better yourself, welcome. <laughs> so check this out, guys. It is Super Sunday. And I hope everyone is doing well. And um, I'm going to run down my seven-day week for you guys. Just so you know what it is. Monday is Money Making Mondays. Money Making Meditation Mondays. Tuesdays, Turn It Around Tuesday. Wednesday is Winning Wednesday. Thursday is Throw It Away Thursday. Friday is Sow a Seed of Love TGIF Friday. Saturday is Super Saturday. And Sunday, guys, today is Spiritual Sunday. And with that being said, you guys are all amazing, each and every one of you. So let's get into this. Hey, guys, look. Whatever you're thinking you're attracting. It's laws of attraction, guys. Whether you've been taught it or not, whatever your reality is right now, you can't blame anybody but yourself. Yeah, I mean, you can call out names, but once again, it's not going to help you. You can't blame anyone about, uh, but yourself, guys. Straight out. Because you made the decisions to pick the guy, to pick the girl, to move here, to move there, whatever the case may be. And you have to understand that things sometimes don't go the way you planned it and nine times out of ten if it does go that way there's a learning lesson in it for you if you learn the lesson you don't have to take it over again if you don't learn the lesson and then you'll continue to keep retaking that lesson over through different people period it's a form of karma because you're not learning what you need to be learning from it so guys what is happening Due to a lot of people using their thinking in a negative way. Oh, this person pissed me off. So you're thinking all negative about that person. Well, you might as well just harm yourself. Because what you put out comes back. Everybody loves to say, oh, karma. And they don't even believe in it. Because then you hear them call you everything under, under the sun. And that person believed in karma. Well, because they spoke it. It's going to happen then to them. And because they said they believed in karma, and then they acted out as a person that doesn't believe in karma and didn't do anything to fix it or make it right, and then they're going to live out that karma. Whatever they wished on you, whatever they hated on you, whatever they said about you, that's why their life isn't going good either. Nobody's life will. We are attracting what we want in life. If we're low vibrational, all we're going to attract is the other low vibrational, unhealthy, unfaithful people in our state. And you're just going to be one of the many out there that has that story that talks about how I got cheated on, how I got done wrong, how, how I'm always getting lied to, or whatever the case may be. And once again, your free will, it's up to you. If you want to continue to keep living um, that train wreck, you know what I'm saying? And so you got to watch your thoughts, guys. And the problem with that, why people don't do it, because most people don't even think well of themselves. They don't think well of themselves. They don't talk well about themselves. No, they don't. I'm around people all the time. And no, they don't. It's almost like they have a problem even accepting a compliment or even a gift because they're so used to being in that lower state. It's hard to receive anything, compliment, gifts. It's just hard to receive. So guys, um, if you want better in life, you got to think like that. If you want better in life, you got to think like that. You can't think like that and have this big old 30 minute powwow talk. And then an hour later, you're already back to complaining, arguing, and your house is right back where it was. And I'm talking this house right here. Because this house is going to affect the outside house, your physical house. 
But if you have this house right here together, and then everything inside of your house is gonna work a lot smoother for you. It's gonna work more in your benefit for you. You know what I'm saying? If you guys, um, if you guys have happy and harmonious thoughts, if you guys choose to deal with your problems a lot different than how you deal with them, with the arguing, the fighting, all that does is just brings more evil into your house. The Bible even says that where there's arguing and strife, which is just like a lot of fighting, a lot of bickering, the Bible says every evil, every evil is present. Every evil is there. See how you can conjure up spirits and you don't even know it? You're just having an argument. Oh, what? F you. Oh, what? You did this. You did that. Woo, 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 woo. God said, man, I took myself out of that a long time ago. I'm going to let witchcraft, the black magic, all that negativity. You're calling in every evil spirit. All them demonic demons. That's why the house is the way it is. That's why their lives go the way it goes. They refuse to change their thinking. But it's crazy. Now, this is where um, the toxic thinking comes in when you're not careful of how you use your mind. Because then you don't want to change your toxic ways, but you have an excuse and you're always playing the victim. Oh, it's me. Oh, I'm always getting done like this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a, that's, that's, that's a toxic person. That's a nar narcissist. Always the victim. It's always your fault. And if you catch them, catch them in anything, and then they're just not going to... I don't want to talk about that. Narcissism. Look it up. Look at the traits. And then look at the people you deal with. They'll have all of the same traits. For the most part. And you don't want to get yourself caught up in a mental prison. Where this is your way of life. You just you 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 just go on what you feel. You, you just work off an of impulse. There's no more moral values. There's no there's nothing rooted. Everything is just whatever. That lifestyle is reckless. That lifestyle is going to come with so much negative karma. I mean years of karma. Years of suffering. Because you're just going lower and lower and lower into a vibrational state. The lower you go, the more you do. <laughs> Not laughing at, at anyone. I'm just at that because I'm just like, wow, that's crazy. Because you would think at some point in time that your mind would say, you know what? What the heck am I doing? Like, this isn't me. I'm tired of living like this. I'm tired of being on this low-paying job. I'm tired of being in this bad relationship. I'm tired of always being lied to, taking advantage of them. I'm tired of whatever it is you're sick and tired of. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of whatever the case may be. But if you're always talking about how tired you are, and then you'll just be tired. Because once again, that's what you're putting out to the universe. So it's like an order at a restaurant. You keep ordering the same thing, complaining and negativity. So you keep getting the same thing back, complaining and negativity. You need to place another order. You need to go to a different restaurant. <laughs> you need to go eat some more healthier food, spiritual food, which would be positive affirmations. That's what you should be saying. That's what you should be saying. But I guarantee you, you're not. If your life is in shambles, if your house is unhappy, if there's more frowning than smiling or laughing, that means there's very little to no joy. And it's going to be because of the mental state of that house, of the people in that physical home, how they're thinking. It's producing. So guys, you know, Neville Goddard always says that imagination creates reality. Why don't you use your imagination instead of cursing people, wishing bad on people, being, um, being starstruck 
on everybody else that has what you would like, how do you think they got it? They all didn't start rich. Majority of them sleeping in cars, working out of their own garage. I mean, come on, guys. These guys had imagination whether you liked them or not. They had what we all have, but not everybody utilizes it. And then you know what else they had? Conviction with belief. No matter what, they just believed that this was going to happen. No matter what. They just believed that, yeah, this is going to happen. This is all going to work out for me. I don't know how long it's going to take, but you know what? I'm never going to quit until it comes. How many people have that go-getter attitude? If you had that type of go-getter attitude, you wouldn't have time to be thinking the negative thoughts and doing all the other BS that's not serving you because you would be focused on building your legacy. Are you building a legacy? Are you working on any type of generational wealth um, ideas to bring to the forefront? Or you're just going to produce another generation of people pretty much doing the same thing you're doing. Pretty much working at the same pace you're working, making around the same money you're making. Because the mindset has all been the same programming even for the kids growing up in the house. You know, they might be told to go to college. But they're told to go to college to get a job. Really? But then you got other families telling their kids, no, you're going to own a business. You're going to be a boss. You're not going to be a grown man or a grown woman calling somebody boss. Really? Where do you do that at? No. You're going to own your own business. Now, if you didn't do it, and then you set that up for the next generation to have it. Period. I mean, you love them, right? You love yourself, right? You want to see that other version of you, that smaller version with your bloodline that's going to be growing up. Don't you want to see them succeed, do well, and not just buying a bunch of stuff? I mean, we have a lot of people that could buy a bunch of stuff, but then again, mentally, they're all messed up. They're karmics, lying, deceiving, very deceptive, cunning, unfaithful. Karmics are always unfaithful. Just wanted to put that out there. And they will always lie. You will always have to question, are you getting the whole truth or not? I say send love and light, and you keep it pushing. Because if not, they're just going to bring your whole entire world down, just like theirs. And then they're just going to go run off to somebody else to do the same thing. Because that's the way they're programmed. By whoever they allowed to program them with their free will. Unfortunately, they'll have a whole lot of bad karma to deal with. Every time we make bad choices, guys, we always have to live with the consequences. All of us, no matter who it is. The difference is, a lot of us will learn from it, right? A lot of us will learn like, okay, um, I'm not going down this route no more because this is just not serving me. It's not at my best interest. I'm not doing it no more. But then again, you got other people that are just like, I'm going to stay in this zone. I'm going to stay living like this. I'm going to complain, say I want to stop. I want to get out, say I don't like this, say this isn't for me. But then because they're so weak, they're going to stay in a toxic job, a toxic relationship, a toxic household, toxic friends. They're going to have a bunch of frenemies. They're your friends and enemies all at the same time. <laughs> They're your frenemy, guys. They're your friend and your enemies all at the same time. <laughs> I think that's called a combo. <laughs> you got the combo pack. Watch what you're thinking. Watch what you're thinking, guys. Think good thoughts. Is it really that hard to think good thoughts? Well, it might be. If you're surrounding yourself with more negative thoughts. If you're trying to watch, if you're trying to think good thoughts, and then you're putting yourself around nothing but negativity, and then good luck on that. That's going to be an uphill battle. You're going to have to understand that you are your most important investment. And you see a lot of people are making very, very poor investments. They treat themselves like, like they're not really worthy. 
well, it's just life, you know, like, it is what it is, man, forget that junk, no, it's not just life, no, it isn't what it is, you are creating what it is, see what that low vibrational saying, it just is what it is, it's just life, that's all low vibrational, get away, Psst. let me spray you with some stay away spray, Psst. <laughs> stay away from me with that negative thinking, because I, Who's that going to inspire when you get around them talking like that? Who's that going to inspire? Who's that going to help? Who's that going to motivate, uplift? If you have kids, how's that motivating them, uplifting them, anything? It's not. It's making them like you. Don't you want them to be better? Even if you did well for yourself, don't you want them to still do better? There's always something someone can learn, right? <laughs> so look, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your thoughts create your reality. Period. Point. Blank. If you think negative, negative is coming to your house, to your job, to your relationship. Negative is coming to you because you're a magnet. And what you put out comes back. Karma. Planting a seed. When it grows, harvest time. It's coming back to who? The one who planted it. You. So what are you saying in your mind about people? What are you saying on the phone about people? Because these same things are going to be said about you. There's no discrimination of age, race, ethnicity, 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 or anything like that. It doesn't matter. The universe is 100% fair. You dish it out, you're getting it back. It's the laws. It's like gravity. You jump, you're falling down. It's the yin and the yang. You know, it is what it is. These laws will never change. They're not going to change just to compromise, just to suit you because you don't want to put the work in. Because you still want to do negative, but somehow you want to pull something positive out of a negative. Well, you can be under an illusion. And you can do negative and you're like, man, I got away with it. It actually worked, you know. And, and you can give that illusion like you're actually doing good. And then down the line, you know, God says, well, it's time to pay karma. And all of a sudden your whole life comes crashing down because you got to pay. Man, these mosquitoes out here. Mississippi, guys. Mm. Anyway, you got to pay. Everyone has to pay. I don't care who you are. Everyone has to pay. So why pay over and over and over again when you could just plant better seeds and you know, you know what? I planted this seed last year. I don't know how long it's going to take to grow, but you know that you can look forward to that seed harvesting and then coming to you. And now you have whatever good you did coming back to you through other people or some other form, but it's coming to you and it's going to be good. Same for your kids. If you start telling them to think like that and you don't have phones raising them and you don't have TV raising them and you don't have Netflix raising them and cable raising them and everything else raising them except for the parent, and then you can put in some good work on them to where they're not going to have these toxic thoughts already at a super young age only because their example in the home is toxic. You're cursing your children people that way. You're cursing your house. You're cursing your money. You're cursing your relationship. You're cursing it all. You're putting a hex on yourself. Look, guys, let me just get real with you. People that are in relationships and you want to go out and run around and cheat and all that, you made a pact with the devil. And if you have kids in those type of situations, your kids are cursed because you had it. I got to keep this PG. You had it running all over around. You're like community property. Okay. You become community property. Everybody had you. And now nobody wants you. You got to go to a new place where nobody knows. And then you start up there. And since you have the same toxic habit, 
guy or girl, it's going to continue to be toxic everywhere you go. And if you have kids, come on, what do you think you're going to produce? You're going to produce little, small, toxic little kids that are going to grow up lying, cheating. They're going to imitate what they see. They're going to imitate how they heard you talk about the other person because you have no self-control. So instead of going, you know what, I'm not going to talk like this. The kids are around or whatever. You have no self-control because you're toxic too. So you're just going to say whatever you want to say. You don't care who's around. That's what toxic people do. But then again, they all pay their karma for that negative thinking. So just stop going out like that. Stop putting yourself in mental, spiritual prison. Because right now, guys, this year, I have seen so many towers happen in people's lives. Meaning, that's when it's your time. That's when whatever you've been doing ratchet comes to an end and it's time to pay up. And man, I mean, it was a time, I, I think last year I was probably able to count probably on one hand. But easily, not even both hands are enough now. I've, I've been seeing karma come back for so many people in ways that these people are crying and howling and wishing that they wouldn't have did the things they did. Wishing they would have treated people better. Wishing they wouldn't have stole. Wishing they wouldn't have lied or smear campaigns. You know, when people are behind your pack, behind your back, talking bad about you. That's witchcraft. Because they're speaking evil on your name and they're doing it behind your back cowardly. So guess what I know? It's coming for them. Period. That's why you protect yourself every day. And those people that don't have any issues, like me, I have no problem with doubt. And then you put it out there. They're, they're going to have issues with doubt. So whatever, it is, if they try to do it back to you, nothing will touch me. It's going to touch them all day because they don't have that belief. They didn't put any work in to get to that type of level, to build that muscle, to have that type of belief. They're going to go off of what they see and they're going to react. That's why you're always going to win. You're always going to win. Even the Bible says the only person that he doesn't give anything to is only one person. Who is that, Trickett? The doubter. The doubter. The one that doubts that the universe, that God, that Jesus, that you doubt that they're not able to fix whatever you're going through. You just don't believe it. And so therefore you forfeit getting the help that you could have got. So you have no protection around you. Who's protecting you? What verse you got on that? Let me see it. Who's protecting you? You ain't got no protection. You got you. Because you don't have no belief. So you got you. The person that believes has the angels and they got God protecting them. They got, they have, they have, um, they have resources, spiritual resources, limitless spiritual resources. That's why witchcraft won't hurt. That's why the witchcraft won't touch you. It'll stress the other person out. They'll be losing sleep. They'll be on the phone talking to everybody about you. You won't even be talking to no one about them. Because you understand the game. I'm not bringing that in my life. I'm not going to bring that in my house. You say what you have to say and you move on. Period. Point blank. Done. But most people won't. They'll talk about it. They'll dwell about it. All that negative. And they're using all that time to speak evil on you. That's why they get cursed. Because God looks at it that you could have been using that time to work on yourself. To better yourself. But you didn't want to use that time to better yourself. You wanted to use that time to do ratchet behavior. And then you want it good to come. That's a toxic type of uh, that's a toxic type of uh, thinking. I want to pull good out of doing bad. I want to have a faithful man, but I want to be a cheating wife. I want to be a I want to have a faithful wife, but I want to be a cheating man. 
Um, I want an honest business partner, but I'm a thief. That's craziness. These are people that are trying to do negative and still have a good life and pull positive. Like they still want the good things that you get only by doing good, but they don't want to put the work in. They want to stay ratchet. Smear campaigns, talking behind your back, all the stuff that low vibrational people do, they want to continue to do it and still expect to get the results you get in your life. They still want to smile as much as you. They still want to be happy like you. They still want to be able to be a master manifester. They want to be able to heal themselves. They want to be able to call things out of the 5D invisible world that you don't think, that you don't see. What does the Bible say? Call those things that you see not as they are. So call something that you don't even see, but you visualize it. You imagine it. And then you bring it to life. What is what is what does the Bible also also say, guys? Go in your closet and what you pray for in secret. Your closet is here. Don't get it twisted. It's not like the Hollywood movies. It's not a closet and I'm on my knees. I mean Hollywood has really turned a lot of people out because they don't understand. But the closet's here. You could pray anywhere. Because nobody knows what you're thinking. That's why it's your private secret closet. So when you're in your mind, whatever you are thinking, good or bad, let me just rephrase it that way so you can understand it in the simplicity. Whatever you're thinking, good or bad, that's like you're praying because that's what you're receiving. So whatever thoughts you have on your mind throughout the day, that is, that's what you're producing for yourself in this life and if it's working out for you to where you are happy you're at peace you have love you have joy you have stability you have good company good people around you are living a happy harmonious lifestyle you are balanced and then keep doing what you're doing but you're not going to get all those things that I named with a toxic mindset. You're not going to get all those things that I named with a negative type of thinking because you're going to be always reaping negative. So it's like jump roping. If you're always like waiting, like the positive is like, I'm waiting to jump in. I'm waiting to get in. But I can't get in because you just keep thinking negative, 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 negative. So the jump rope keeps jumping, but it's only the negative people in the, in the game jumping. It's only the negative people. And you're like, okay, when do I get to get in and give you what you really need? Because you're playing with people that are all toxic and not good for you. And it's only going to take you down a very negative road. Jail, sickness, STDs, frenemies, issues, problems. Because with your free will, this is what you choose to do. It's going to give you habits. You're going to start picking up bad habits. Drug habits. Alcohol. In excess. I'm not talking just, oh, I have a couple drinks. No, I'm talking in excess. I'm getting drunk. I'm getting faded. Why? Because the pain. It's too hard. This is a rough life. And all the toxic people around me, they just all are toxic. So I'm not getting good advice from no one. And could you get good advice? Absolutely. But you know what happens? That toxic mindset keeps you right where you're at. You're a slave. You become a slave in 2021. Slave to negative thinking, to negative behavior. You become a slave. I understand you did something, you got right out of it and was like, whoa, what the heck? I made a mistake. That's different. I'm talking about the people that have made a conscious decision to do ratchet stuff and then make excuses why they're doing it. All of that will backfire. Guys, watch what you're thinking. Watch what you're thinking. Watch what you're saying to yourself and to others. I'm telling you guys, I'm warning you guys. 
I'm telling you, you don't have to listen to me. You don't. But you're going to live your life. I'm not going to live it. So however it's going, that's, that's what you chose. If it's working for you, hey, if you like it, I love it. <laughs> Straight out. Because I'm not going to burn my energy on someone that doesn't even want to help. Or they act like they want to help, so you give it to them and then they don't put it to practice. Leave them in their karmic world. They're just going to keep living out karma. I keep doing bad, so bad keeps coming to me. Or in their toxic mind, they think, well, I keep doing bad and good is going to come to me. I keep gossiping behind people's back and good is going to come to me. I keep speaking for people outside um, and not letting them know I'm doing things and bad karma is going to come to me. I keep taking it on my own to do what I want to do, but it isn't on you. It's normally on someone else because that's how the game works. No one's looking at themselves. They're looking at you. They're judging you. They don't want the mirror on them. And the more they keep the mirror off of them, the more toxic they get, the more dark they get inside. They're under demonic influences at this point. Demonic. Because they've invited demons into their life with all of the ratchet lifestyle and the ways that they got. I don't care what they say. It doesn't matter. They did. If you're people that do any of these things that I just named, and then you are inviting, you're not the happiest person. And, and, you, and I guarantee you got plenty of stories of all the lies have been told on you, how many times you've been cheated on. Oh, I thought he was. No, you're not going to get that if you're not right. Oh, so you want God to give you someone good, knowing that you're, you're ratchet or knowing that your thinking is off? No, he's going to just send you another toxic person. And that's why so many people have toxic relationships and it's so hard to find someone. What they're not telling you is what they're thinking. Look what they just said. It's so hard. That's their affirmation. What a horrible affirmation. That's somebody that lacks understanding. They don't understand the power of the universe. They put limitations on themselves and they probably are influenced by other people talking to them too. And so they put limitations on them and so they've got chains and chackles and chackles and then they're just chained up they're, they're pent to the ground to the wall they're done so guys if you want to start turning your life around even though it's not tuesday turn it around tuesday but if you want to turn your life around start thinking different and know you can't hold on to everybody you might start off with a bus full of people on your journey you have a whole bus full of people. But then when you come into knowing who you are and who's good for you and who's not, most likely you end up in a two-seater sports car rolling around in a Lambo or something like that, Bugatti or something like that. You know, we got to keep it on that high vibration. <laughs> and that's all because... You can't take everybody to the top with you. Everybody's not going to understand your success. And not everybody's going to understand your mindset. And not everybody's going to give you encouragement. Not everybody is going to give you motivation. Not everybody is going to even stand by you and give you that support. Physically or mentally. Not everybody's going to do that. And, it's, and that's just where they're at in their life. And you can't get mad at that. Because the low vibrational people... They're just another version of you, but you in your lower state. So basically, their teach, their help, their, the karmics help you grow by all of the ratchet things that they do. You got to then use patience. You got to start. Now they're working your senses. Now you got to, you got to put all this into practice. That's why when you go through your season of being put through all of that and you pass and your cycle ends, that's when their karma starts. Everything they wished on you, everything they said about you, everything they did behind your back 
will, will start happening to them and it won't happen for the length of time they did it for you. So say it's been one year, two years, five years, eight years, 10 years. It'll be much longer and way worse for them because they played a game, they refused instructions, and now everything's coming down. And it's just time to pay the piper. You'll be unhappy for a while, a long while. And it will give you time to reflect on all the, all the, all the things you did wrong to people, all the things you said, all the lies you told, or whatever the case may be. Because this is to grow you guys. This is to grow you. So pain can be good, like correction. It may hurt, but if it's to grow you, if it's to better you, and then come on, man, just take the medicine that may taste nasty when you're taking it, but then the next day you're feeling a lot better and you're glad that you even took it, right? Yeah, you are. <laughs> so look, guys, it's getting dark out here. I'm losing light. And it is Monday, you know, I'm a single dad. I got two girls, so I got to get inside the house and make sure everything's straight for them, dinner, all that good stuff, because that's how we roll, period. We're going to keep it positive. We're always laughing. We're always happy. We're always together, hanging out. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I don't have to go to a job. I own, <coughs> I own my own business. Thank God for that, right? So... I'm able to actually grow every day and teach this to my kids every day. And even when they may make mistakes, I am there. So I'm there to help correct them and show them how to correct it every single day. Yes, sir. And on that note, guys, you guys are all amazing. I salute the greatness and the divinity in you. Bam! You know, that's that seven chakra salute. What? You guys have a good one. Take care. Watch some thoughts. Watch what you say. Say good things. Think good things. And I guarantee you, six months from now, two months from now, next year, you're going to start seeing stuff coming in, coming in, coming in. As you start to plan it and they start to grow, you're going to start seeing your environment change to better people, to more money, to a healthier lifestyle to better conditions, but it's not going to happen if you don't put in the work. And with that being said, guys, peace. <laughs>